Sometimes it's difficult when we go through a struggle or a family issue or a problem and we don't know the reason why. Sometimes God doesn't tell us why. And we want to know the reason because if we knew the reason, it would be easier for us to handle what we're going through. But heaven remains silent. Job found this struggle. The Bible said that Job was a perfect man. He was upright. He'd done everything the best of his ability to walk with God and to live for God and to have that relationship with God. And yet there came a day when tragedy struck and trouble came. There were storms that killed all of his, knocked in the house and killed all of his kids. There were um, different enemies that came in and thieves and they stole all of his possessions and his wealth was gone. And then God allowed in Job chapter 2, the, the Satan to come along and to torment his body and to make him sick. So now he'd lost his children, he'd lost his wealth, and now he'd lost his health. His wife said, Job, you must just curse God and die. We don't know why this is happening. And I can't see, stand to see you struggle like this anymore, so you might as well just end it all. Job said, I can't do that. God blesses and God gives bad things. I've got to take both of them. And so Job and his friends began to discuss, and for the next about 36 chapters, there is a discussion to answer the question of why. Why is all this happening? Why is all this going on? Why is, are these problems happening to me? And who's to blame? See, they didn't know that there's a conversation in heaven, two of them actually, between Satan and the Lord. They didn't know that God's opinion of Job was that he was an upright and a perfect man and that there was no way that he was going to give in during this trial. They didn't know that Satan thought that, hey, I can get him. And so the Lord said, okay, go ahead. All Job knew was his life was a mess and the heavens were silenced because the why question was not being answered by God. In fact, Job said, God, I look for you and I can't find you. I've looked to the right and I've looked to the left. I've looked before me. I've looked behind me. God, I don't know where you're at, but I do know this one thing, God. You know where I am, and in the appropriate time, you're going to take care of me. So I would like us today to make sure that we keep our trust and our confidence in God, even though God doesn't let us know why. God has his hand firmly in your hand as you walk with him. God's going to take care of you. He's not going to let you down. And so don't Give up in frustration just because you don't know the reason that you're going through something or there's trouble in your life today. God's taking care of things and he's going to take care of you. God bless you. Share these with others. And we hope you join us for part two tomorrow about the devotional of why.